Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com here in St. Louis on the podium brought to you by Amsoil and Brian Villapoto, your fourth win of the season and most importantly, you picked up 10 points on Davey Millsaps. <clears throat> yeah, it was, uh, geez, it was a crazy night uh, with the red flag and, and um, you know, restarting and getting docked and, and then restarting in fifth and, um, you know, it was, it was uh, I, knew, I knew I needed to make something happen. Um, the season's kind of winding down. It's, it's, uh, Got a few races left, but it's definitely it's getting close to the end. And, and with that points gap where it was, um, you know, we had to make something happen. And, and when we restarted, I actually seen where Davey was and was able. Okay, well now, you know, I made a costly mistake over there and jumped on the Red Cross. And I said I knew I needed to make something happen. So um, I was able to in those first couple laps. And then I knew that once you know we restarted, James didn't gap us. I knew that it was going to be it was going to be on. It was going to be a race. It was a race. I mean, at one time there were six of you guys all right there in the freight train, and uh, it seemed to me like tonight uh, you could pass. I mean, you could go inside, outside, and, and the roost was horrible when you came back through. I, I saw yeah. you guys ducking. I, I even asked Chad Reed about that, and he just goes, sometimes, I mean, you guys moved over five feet because you just had your head down so long. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, you know, I tend to ride with my mouth open sometimes, and I just swallow in dirt and getting it caught and gagging and stuff. So, um yeah, there's not a super cross, so there's not a lot of area just to move around, you know. So you're kind of stuck right behind someone for, you know, that whole time. So, um, you know, the, the roost was bad, but you know, I think the racing was so much tighter because the the dirt promoted, um, you know, racing and passing because it was it was tacky. Up until this weekend, we haven't had anywhere that we were able to like just charge and, and get underneath somebody and let him come back. And and uh, other than the small whoops, the track was was good and it held up, you know, really good. So. Um, Obviously, I'm happy with uh, with where we're at. Talk a little bit about uh, you know a little ways into that main event, the the, rassi, the, the red uh, lights come on, flashing before the triple, and uh, Bobby Canary was down in the other spot of the track there, and some of the guys were saying, "Hey, man, maybe he shouldn't have done, you know, what he did." Um, <clears throat> yeah, we actually, it was they pulled the red red cross off the triple over here, and we all rolled it, and as I rolled up over the top, I seen. Barsha's front fender come up next to me and I'm like okay well it just obviously all put us right on top of each other and 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 once I seen that then I get on a little bit and we're speed rolling over the over there across all the jumps and nobody jumped and and uh, <clears throat> I never passed James I think I got beside him or or uh, I don't even know it was it was chaos out there you know so I and then I was able to stick it in over here before the whoops, and then he got underneath me again. So uh, it, was, it was it was a really good race. Some good passes you made tonight. Now what I mean is by setting them up. I mean and, and scrubbing. I mean at one time I saw off one of the triples you scrubbed so low that you know the other guy looked at the lead. He was five feet ahead of you. Yeah, it was uh, like I said. The track promoted good racing, and that you know being that it was tacky, it was it was much uh, easier to to race hard.